I'm joined by super featherweight 12 and 0 Nick Ball. Massive opportunity on Friday night. Yeah, it's a massive opportunity for me and I'm looking forward to it. Is there any sort of like added pressure for yourself, obviously, with it being on TV, you want to impress, you want to kind of showcase your skills? Is there any sort of added pressure that, that comes with that? Um, there is, yeah, but you can't think about it too much. You've just got to do what you've always done, do like stay focused on the job and then get the job done. And in terms of like what like viewers coming in, what, what can they kind of expect? People that haven't seen you before, tell them a little bit kind of about your style and, and what you're about. Um, all action, my style. Um, very exciting. And like I reckon it'll be um, exciting for the fans who are watching, so get people off the seats. Now, you're 12-0 and now, your opponent is uh, 6-0, and is that is that correct? So, in terms of obviously where you're at your, your career, you're kind of looking to now step up the levels and sort of, in the next sort of 18 months, I say, step up and, and showcase and sort of, yeah, put yourself out there on, on these bigger platforms. Yeah, and that's much easier now, now that I'm Sam with Frank, he, he's the one that gets you these opportunities, so I'm ready to fight anyone, but as long as I get the opportunities off Frank. And in terms of your career and the way it's gone, you've consistently boxed, obviously it's 12 and hours, we've said, you've consistently boxed th throughout the last couple of years. Just with this whole situation with the COVID and the lockdown, was there any sort of doubt in your mind about what sort of the future held for, for this year, especially just with your signing for Frank at the start of this year? I thought 2020 was a write-off me. I didn't think I'd be fighting. Um, we had five fights scheduled in, but... I had one of them, so I was lucky enough to get one fight in, in 2020, but I thought that would have been it, but so I made up that I'm fighting again this year. And at the end of last year, you fought on a Queensbury show, a dinner show, uh, in front of Frank Warren. How was that experience for you? It was good, yeah. Um, got, got the job done in the two rounds, so it was good, yeah. Was there, was there any kind of added like pressure coming with that, with kind of Frank being there and some of the sorts of personalities that were, were at that show and sort of the spotlight again being on you. Was there any sort of pressure as that sort of served you well coming into this show? Yeah, it has, but I feel like I've always belonged there on these big shows and stuff like that and I've prepared myself before it's even happened to, to be there, so I, I'm, I'm ready for it all, to be honest with you. I think there was a fight last year with uh, Brian Phillips, obviously he was 4-0 at the time. Um, I think that just sort of backs up that point, what you just said, you know, you're ready, you're ready for the big occasions. I know locally that got a lot of attention, so I think, I think that backs up kind of what you're saying. Yeah, definitely, because they're the fights I want to be, be in, with people coming to, coming to beat me. That brings the best out of me, so put the pressure on. And in terms of the next 18 months, how do you, how do you see it panning out for yourself? Um, I'd see myself with the title. I don't know what's going to happen on the, after this fight with, with, this, with this year, but 2021, I don't see why I couldn't fight for the title. And regards to kind of obviously like being from Liverpool, the North West, do you feel there's a real opportunity within sort of the fighters that are out there at the moment in terms of you putting yourself on the map and really sort of building out from, from Liverpool? Yeah, definitely. Um, as I say, it's just getting the opportunities again, isn't it? Um, with a good promoter behind you. And as long as they're doing their job, I'll definitely be doing mine. Well, good luck Friday and uh, hope it all goes well. Yeah, nice one, Chris. Appreciate it.